All right, folks, so today is International Plastic Bag Free Day, but we've been ahead of the game for a little over a year where bags and straws are concerned. We've got NEPA's Public Relations Officer, Shari Miller, on the line to give us an update. Hey, Shari, good morning. Welcome to Small Jamaica. It's morning time. Good morning to you all. Thank you for having me. Shari, I love your ears still, you know. She look nice, eh? <laughs> Shari, makeup on point and such. Send, send some for me, you know, see what I'm about. Shari, send me. I, I don't think you can share, but I'll try. <laughs> Plastic bag free day. When did this start, please? It started a couple of years ago in the United Kingdom, but it has grown internationally. And Jamaica has been a part of it for about three or four years. And with the implementation of the ban on single-use plastic, it's even more important mm -hmm. that we celebrate today. Yeah, well, let's go there. How are we where that's concerned? Because I'm still seeing some of the, the little scandal about the mole place that, I, as far as I know, has been banned for a little while. So how are we with that? Where we have we have a really high compliance rate. Of course, you'll see one or two plastic bags, but we're seeing Jamaicans adopt to the reusable bag and the plastic-free lifestyle. So we're seeing different colors and patterns of reusable bags. They're being sold everywhere. So while we do see one or two plastic bags, they're far more reusable bags than before. And of course, we're encouraging people to call us and get in touch with us if they want to know how they can reduce and refuse their own plastic. But we've seen a high rate of compliance when we go to the supermarkets, when we go to the wholesales, we're seeing people with their boxes and their, their bags that they hold up in their other bags and they carry everywhere. Some people have four or five, ten bags in their back of their car. So people are coming along and they're really doing well. We have to commend Jamaicans, not yeah. only on their usage of reusable bags, but even expanded polystyrene foam, which was banned this year. We're seeing people use bagas, cardboard containers. So people are ad adapting to this new plastic-free or reducing the amount of plastic-free lifestyle in a great way. And so I must commend Jamaicans for adopting and loving the plastic-free way. Yeah, I think we've done a really good job, given especially the timeline, people are saying, oh, this cannot be done. I think we've just proven that if we put our minds to it and, and collectively work, as a unit, we can we can get it done. So the compliance rate is high. That's good to know. Uh, what about straws? Shari, how have we been doing with the straws? We've been doing well with the straws. We also received queries on our email address that we've created, Policy on Plastic Ban. And we also have a hotline. And it's 287-287-5831. And we've received queries about the straws specifically. And oh, what are they asking? They're asking what we're going to use. And then when cardboard straws came in, people, a lot of people complained about the straws being too flimsy and soaking up the juice and they're not able to have a good user experience. But what we're seeing now, people are, are buying metal straws. Yep. And we're seeing a spike in companies introducing new types of straws into the market. So straws made of coffee and sugarcane trash. So we've had companies come to the head office and say, look at the items that we have that we have to offer when it comes to straws. And there's so many possibilities, even in bamboo. So people and companies, they're making headway into new sustainable materials that can be used for straws. Mm -hmm. So coming very soon, you, you won't have to deal with the cardboard straw. You can deal with other types of straws. And people have been carrying their own straws too. And if you can't, you don't like the cardboard straws, you also encourage people you don't have to use the straws. Correct. You the too. Now, if you're drinking a really thick shake, use a spoon. I don't know. <laughs> there are alternatives. Um, so, are so, 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 Shari, when people come to you with those kind of products, because I know some folks were actually out the gate with the bamboo straws when the ban was announced, and so they were ahead of the game. But if somebody right. comes to you with an idea and says, okay, um, I we've made a straw using this kind of material, do you guys help them with the promotion of that? Or do you send them to the Bureau or you send them to JBDC? Or how does that work? Well, in some instances, we provide tips on any decisions that they need to make about whether or not the item is banned. Because people often come to us about, is this item banned? And we review the material or we send it to the Bureau of Standards of Jamaica to have the material tested. We also encourage them to market their things in such a way that people would see them, that people would see them as a great alternative. So we encourage them. Sometimes we will feature or focus on certain organizations that have 
reusable items for small business owners that call us and ask, listen, where can I get these alternatives? We've been able to guide them. So it's a collaborative approach with the different governmental organizations, Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation, Jamaica Customs Agency Bureau of Standards, the National Solid Waste Management Authority. So it's a collaborative effort to ensure that large and small business owners are not left out during this process. What happens today? Well, today is International Plastic Bag Free Day. So today we're actually launching a mural in Mandela Park. So we're going to have in the coming week a pavilion area in, the, in Mandela Park where we'll have four little murals that people can go and do and get the idea of the plastic ban message, which is refuse, reduce, reuse. And an aspect that is very important is recycling. So we're going to have a mural. We've also had ads on the Jamaica Green and Observer website. And we also have a big social media push on all our pages, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, to inform people, giveaways, statistics, everything that you could want on our social media page and our, on the ad on Green and Jamaica, uh, Green Observer and Jamaica. So what we realize is that with COVID, with the COVID-19 pandemic, face-to-face -face interactions not encouraged wholly. Right. So we move their activities online and creating more awareness online, but also we wanted to have the mural there so Gosh. people would have something in the history books that this happened and Jamaica made this great change. So Shari, how is that going to work today? Because you say mural, people down there painting, people are going to want to come down. You're talking about physical distancing. What? How is that going to work logistically today? You have your own people who are doing the mural or you want anybody to come down and support well, or get involved? Well, we're launching it today. So the mural won't start today because okay. we are aware. So we're launching the mural today. And in the coming weeks, we'll get the mural ready and get the design perfect so that then people can visit and know and see. So we're launching today because we're aware of the social distancing guidelines. Correct. The current situation. So that's what we're going to do. Today. Okay. All right, Sherry, thanks so much. And y'all be safe. Thanks for joining us this Thank morning. You for all right, Nepal's public relations officer, uh, Shari Miller. Then if it's National Plastic Bag Free Day, we are making a plastic bag outfit today? No, we are, we are recycling. We are oh, reusing. Oh, we're repurposing. We're, yeah. All right. So that's the takeaway, guys. If you have any plastic in your house, make an outfit into it like what me and Neff are going to do today. Wear it outside. All right, don't, no, don't. No, don't. <laughs> don't. 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 No, unless, right. unless you want to team up with Spider-Man for some reason. But no, follow. <laughs> it's not every advice we give you here is good advice. <laughs> no, my advice you must follow. She, I wouldn't suggest that. All right, no. We we'll soon come. You really want to tell people that? <laughs> You're sure? We we'll soon come. Come on.